parthenogenesis is an important process found in the reproduction of honeybees. You might be thinking, well, what is parthenogenesis? First of all, it's a type of asexual reproduction. Everyone knows the type of asexual reproduction where an organism will go through budding to produce an exact copy of itself. But we all know bees don't do this. Parthenogenesis is basically incomplete sexual reproduction because it involves the production, activation, and development of an egg. These eggs aren't fertilized, but it still forms into an offspring. These unfertilized eggs develop into male bees, also known as drone bees. Some of the queen's eggs are fertilized and they turn into female bees, either worker bees or queen bees. The drone's primary job is to mate with the queen bee. Worker bees are sterile females that feed the eggs and find the food. Queen bees are fertile females that lay eggs within the hive. So now the question is, how does parthenogenesis work in bees? In the hive, the queen will mate with about 15 to 25 different drone bees. After she mates with the drones, she stores about 6 million sperm in a sperm sac inside of her called a spermathica. Then she can decide which eggs she wants to fertilize if she wants her offsprings to be males or females. In the spring or summer, she will lay about 2,000 eggs within the honeycombs of the hive. These eggs are fed jelly by the worker bees in the hive. A fertilized egg, which are the females, can either turn into a worker bee or a queen bee, depending on the type of jelly they're fed. A worker bee has glands that can produce two types of jellies, worker jelly and royal jelly. If an egg is fed worker jelly, it'll turn into a worker bee. If an egg is fed royal jelly, it'll turn into a queen bee. The worker bees will make royal jelly if there's too many worker bees in the hive. But what makes worker jelly different from royal jelly? Royal jelly has an enzyme called royal actin. The royal actin increases body size and increases the concentration of juvenile hormone used for ovary development for the queen bees. With all this information about parthenogenesis and royal jelly, you could say now that you know the birds and the bees of bees.